Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be running through some of the changes that came out in uh, Wave 1 2024 um, around the automated um, reminders. So uh, there's a few things that we need to cover here, um, but uh, let's run through. Um, so to begin with, uh, I'm just going to take you through the um, role center screen that I'm logged into right now. So uh, I've changed this uh, specifically for um, this particular video. And if I just come up to my settings up here, um, you'll notice that I have the role of accounts receivable administrator assigned. Okay, so this is the uh, new role which has been introduced uh, specifically for uh, an accounts receivable administrator okay so if you uh, cover this sort of work in your in your business central environment then maybe this might be of uh, of interest for you but certainly it is for um, the things that we're going to run through today okay so um, let me step back uh, and I won't run through the whole screen guys I don't think that's um, entirely relevant but we do have uh, a section here for reminders on this um, role center screen. Um, so we've got draft issued, reminders not sent, uh, and then we've got one around uh, automations and automation failures. Okay, so you can click into each one of these and uh, grab a little bit more detail on those. So if I click into the uh, configured automations, uh, we'll cover this in a bit more detail later, um, but you'll see it will take me through to the two configured automations that we have um, right now. Um, and then if I scroll down here a little bit, we do have uh, an insights section, which is pretty cool. You know, so here, look, we've got um, a, uh, a list that shows us customers with uh, an overdue balance and you can perform some actions from here. Um, but it basically just shows me a list of those customers with an overdue balance. And of course, I can drill in to um, the overdue balance there to see what's making up their overdue amount. Um, and then uh, on the right hand side here, I've got a, a list of my overdue invoices, which I can send out into Excel. But again, I can drill down into the details from here to view those um, transactions in a little bit more detail if I want to. Okay. Um, so some pretty cool additions to um, the role center there, I guess. Uh, it's giving you more information at your fingertips, allowing you to track those um, um, those issues within the system, uh, those uh, debtor transactions within the system a little bit easier. Um, okay, so next thing we're going to cover here is the um, changes to our reminder terms. So um, these have stayed much the same, but what I'm gonna do is just search for uh, reminder terms here and we've got two of those set up um, this is a demonstration environment so it's the same sort of setup across uh, all demo environments that you may see but if i come into my uh, reminder terms here you'll notice that i've got uh, my reminder level section here which is new um, and i can basically do the same configuration that i could do in the previous reminder level so uh, for those of you that may have used these pre this uh, update, you would have had uh, a reminder level icon up at the top here, or if I just press yes, sorry, no on that message, uh, you would have had a, a reminder level sort of icon up at the top here as well, right? But we don't have that anymore. Uh, it's sort of built into the reminder term setup record itself, okay? So um, I guess you've got um, sort of the, um, the, the different reminder levels, so one, two, three, um, and then what you've got is the reminder level fees, the different currencies set up here. Um, and then you've got the customer communication um, area, okay, against each one of these levels. Um, so before you could set up a, a reminder text, uh, remember beginning and uh, ending text. Um, but now you can go into customer communication and you can configure a reminder level communication, okay? So this is... Uh, the communication for reminder level one um, and I can add a little bit more detail here okay so I can say what's my file name what's the beginning line ending line um, and then I've got my email text so what's the subject of my email there's a greeting section there's a body text and there's a closing section here so you can basically edit what you see in uh, the email that goes out off the back of 
this level of uh, reminders, okay? Now, um, you see here we've got a, a customer, customer communication, sorry, um, checkbox, ju just that tells us, you know, do we have um, customer communication in this particular reminder level? So I've done that for the first two there. So if I go into customer communication on the second level, you see I've got the, the text and everything here. So I've not really changed any of that, okay? It's just the way that, it is when uh, you get the suggestion to set up. So this um, third level, I don't have the customer communication set up. So if I go into customer communication here, um, the system tells me there are no attachment texts for this reminder level. Do you want to create a new attachment text for your current language? So I can say yes or no to that. So I'm just going to say yes. Then we get another one here saying there are no email texts for this reminder level. Do you want to create a new email for your current language as well? So again, I'm going to say yes, but you can say no to these. OK, so um, if I go in and say yes, it's just going to add something in for me. But then I can come in and edit things here as I want to. OK, so um, it's just about creating that customer communication for you. And if I press back, you'll see now that we've got the customer communications um, checked as yes for that particular reminder level okay so a few changes in there i guess um, if you've used these uh, reminder levels before you're probably quite familiar with the way that they work um, but i guess have a play with them obviously in a sandbox environment see what you think and uh, do reach out if uh, if there are any questions there now final bit that we'll cover uh, let me just say no to that one. Final bit that we'll cover for um, today is going to be the reminder automation. Okay, so this is uh, um, an area which uh, has recently been added in. Um, and um, what it allows us to do is basically automate the sending out of reminders. Okay, so what I'm going to come in and do here is just say reminder automation. And here I've got two reminder automation records set up, okay? And um, what I'm gonna do is I can just go into one of these uh, reminder automation records and effectively what we're doing in this reminder automation record is we're defining a task that's going to happen, okay? So this particular one here is for um, creating the reminders um, and I've got a few different things for reminder terms filter. So which uh, which reminder terms am I going to use? I can drill down into there. I can say these are the reminder terms that I want to use this for. Um, and, and these are the ones that I don't want to use this for. Then I've got a status to say, you know, it's on hold or it's uh, it's scheduled or it's uh, it's waiting. Uh, and then I've got a last run field, which just tells me, you know, when did it last run? Um, and if I come into edit here, I can change the cadence on this, you know, which is uh, manual right now. So I need to come in and press start or I can change that to weekly, monthly or I can give it a custom schedule. OK, so if I go weekly, I set a um, start date. If I go monthly again, I set a start date or if I go custom schedule, um, I set a start date and I put in a next run date formula. OK, so all of this setup, guys, bear in mind, is for um, some of the actions here that we can define. Um, and in this particular reminder automation record, it's uh, the action is create reminder. OK, so um, this will be to create the reminder records. And if I step back, uh, we've got another one here for sending reminders. OK, so the idea is, is you set up those reminder automation records to do those things that, that you want to do. Um, which would be create, and then if I go new over here, I can issue reminders, and then I can send reminders, okay? Um, and it's just about setting those up as you want to, um, and then you can do a little bit more setup underneath those actions. So I can come in here and I can say, um, set highest level on all reminder lines, include entries on hold. So only entries with overdue amounts. And this is basically uh, some filters, some rules that are gonna be used when you're running that particular action under our reminder automation record, okay? Um, now, I won't show you this action in action, you know, but please feel free to, to have a play with this. But if you go ahead and say monthly on this and say start, what that will do is it will change the status here to scheduled monthly. And you can see it's changed here on the list view as well. And 
if I come into my job queue entries now, I've got a job queue which is set up in the background here for reminder automation, okay? And that's for create reminders. So I've just done it for one of the records here, but you need to do that to create, I guess, issue as well, and then send reminders out as well, okay? So um, just have a think about how, uh, how you may do that. And let me just pause that one for now. Um, and then you have got a, a list of log entries here, so you can see, you know, when did that particular reminder automation record run last? And you can just view back um, all the, the history on that. And just one final thing here that I wanted to show you on the home screen. Um, if I come up, you do have automation failures as well, right? Okay, so for whatever reason, um, you know, those of us that worked with job queues before, you know that they can fail from time to time. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, data issues, could be system issues, could be a number of different things which have caused um, the, the errors there. But if it does trip up, um, we can go into the automation failures here and it will give us an overview of those particular errors. Okay, so that is the reminder automation functionality um, and that's everything that I wanted to show you. Um, I hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one.